Have you ever wondered what size drawer you're going to need? Uh, how you figure it out? An easy way to figure it out. I've got a mock up here that I'm going to show you that real quick that this is the say that cabinet opening. Okay, this is where they're going to go. Now I have this tool here that I've had for just years and it's a uh, Bosch uh, GLM 15 if you want to look it up or if they even have this model anymore, but it's the same principle. Uh, that it's an infrared tape measure. So you click it on. Now I can go across the room. It uh, shines an infrared light there and it determines uh, where you put this. Say like right there against that one. And that is one foot 10 and a 16. Now we have our drawer slides. Uh, now remember, these take up about an inch. Okay, so it's gonna be real close to that. Most all of them are like that. Uh, but we're gonna go ahead and place that here. And with that pressure on it, went to 1.8 and 15 sixteenths. Now, you can actually make your drawer this size. But what we're gonna use is this half inch pre-finished plywood. Uh, for our drawer trays or our uh, drawer boxes, or you can use it for any way you want to use that in tray method or what have you. So what we're going to do with this is we're going to make a rabbit. Uh, it's, it's a rabbit joint. And this works really well for this. And you'll see as I go, we will half it there. And we come out here as the depth of that will be the size of the plywood. So this will come out, that way it'll set inside there on both sides. Now on trays, you want this to show, okay, up front. So that way you won't see this joint here other than on the side when you pull it out. Now with, if you're gonna put drawer fronts on it, you wanna switch this and put the drawer front on here to hide this joint. You know, you just think about it that way is you want a nice clean look if it's a tray and if it's a drawer, this will be your front because you're covering this. And in the back, you're not gonna see it anyways. So we're gonna go into the table saw and we're gonna go ahead and get this set up to cut. Okay, now that we have the thickness here, that we need to get to for dado. Weapons. <laughs> what we wanna do is go ahead and set these dados up. Like this one here, okay, going the right way. But this just kind of helps out here. Put another one of these, man. Okay, so we're just proud of it. And that'll be our stack. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna bury this blade into a sacrificial fence that I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do there. Okay, so we're gonna use it right there. Let's go ahead and put these up. Now with this dado setup, you're not gonna have to worry too much about the width in the dado itself. We'll do that with the sacrificial fence. Okay, now that we got this set up like this, is we're gonna go ahead and ease this fence into the blade itself. Um, just to take out a little groove, just so we can uh, make it this thickness here. So let's go ahead and do that. And like I said, you take this very slowly. If you don't feel right doing it, you know, you can always set it over and bring the blade up which here I'll show you. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna bring this over, take it to about right there. That way we can get that, uh, this cut out. So you wanna go ahead and turn it on and raise it up. As you can see, it's just making that little groove right there for you. Gonna shut it off a second. All right, so now let's go ahead and test it. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and narrow this down and we're gonna take it to just about a quarter inch. I'm gonna go ahead and pass one through just to make sure that it is set up correctly. 
We're gonna go like that. All right. Okay. Pretty good cut. Make sure that go like this. Just to make sure. Okay, now I think we all know that plywood is comes in different thicknesses. So you want to make sure you use your actual uh, drawer material. But you know, a lot of people look at this and go, uh, well, I'll just cut it in the center of that where it looks like it's the center, but it's not. Uh, like this here on this plywood is 1564 uh, is going to be center on this. It all fits good. Uh, everything actually fits real nice. All right. Now that we have everything all set up, I want you to take the time to mark these out. Now we know this is going to be the front. So what you want to do is go ahead and groove here. And you want to do it on both sides. Let's go ahead and groove the back. Like I said, you want to mark them all. And you have your tops and bottoms. Make sure that you're, whatever looks the best. Like with this, I have a little bit of a bend to it. So since we're doing a solid bottom, I like putting the bends on the inside so the bottom will actually push it out and square it up. So now we know that this is bottom, this is bottom. So the same setup is gonna cut all of it. That way everything fits in. Let's go ahead and get started rabbiting these and get this dude set up and we're ready to rock. I'm gonna check the square on that. Looks to be square to everything else. So I'm looking along this, looking along the blade, and now looking along the fence, and everything seems to be square there. All right, so. Okay, this is a 10 inch tray, which we'll go ahead and get put together. We'll go ahead and glue the sides, get, uh, get it nailed together. Uh, just small brad nails just to hold it. So we're gonna go put some glue right here. Don't you be stingy with that yellow stuff. Come on, what movie? <sighs> All right, let me go ahead and get this uh, tacked in. There we go. All right, now that'll hold that. Like I said, if it, uh, you have a little bit of glue, too much glue, it's not, that's fine. All right, 28, five eighths, right there. Yep, we're getting close. All right, getting this one set in. And you wanna make sure you get, like I said, lots of glue. This is all part of that strength right here. So we're gonna go ahead, like I said, we're gonna put it in like so. What that does is it straightens it out. As long as you cut these straight, 
you're gonna have a nice square box. Now we're gonna measure it one more time just to make sure that everything is beautiful. Twenty-eight and five eighths. Nice, nice. Okay, and that's how you make a drawer like this. Uh, it really is simple. Gluing it up. Uh, you know, you have a few uh, nail holes. That's just to hold it. So you have a nice uh, glue spot here. Works well. Uh, you need, have it nice and even. This is nice and simple. It really is. Uh, we're gonna, next thing we're gonna do is go ahead and get uh, the slides put on it and get it installed for my wife. Now, she wanted this tall drawer uh, for her baking sheets and so forth. Now, as far as any cutouts and stuff, she didn't want any. Uh, she just wanted this, so. But we're gonna go ahead and top these off by doing something like this. Uh, I'm gonna round it over with a router bit and just give it a nice fill. That way it isn't so rough to the touch like it would be now. Okay guys, here's what we're gonna do next. We're gonna go ahead and put these on. Okay, just remember when you're putting these on and you're dealing with half inch is you're gonna need to clip the tip off because it will go through and just point out through the other side on half inch plywood. Uh, what I do is I just use my wire cutters and snip off the ends and that way it doesn't poke through and <laughs> you don't catch yourself. 